Alrighty. What's going on, folks? Welcome to another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. And today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at my plans for building Chief a kennel inside and outside of the garage. So, step one right here. We have a big old mess to clean up, and we got a bunch of stuff. Actually, uh, kept this wood for a project I never got around to, and then we got a bunch of stuff where I tore apart a pond that was in my backyard. This part of the landscaping, so I got all the rocks and everything right here, and then pallets. Another project. I always have these projects that I, <laughs> I work on that sometimes I really don't ever get around to finishing. And then we got some stuff from the the boat that came with it that I'm probably just gonna pitch, but. Um, step one is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clear all this out. Then step two is putting in the post, putting the fencing around um, for the kennel, making the doggy door into the garage, and then we're gonna have an inside portion too that I got pretty neat ideas for, I think. So um, that's cool. The whole goal, um, one other step that I'll have to do in between that is, um, like Elliot likes to say, it looks like a duck bomb went off in his, his garage. Well, you know, um, I got the same thing going on with all my duck hunting stuff, so I'll have to clean up the garage there before I finish the in indoor portion. Indoor portion before I clean up the indoor portion of it. So um, let's go ahead and get it done. So one more look at this garbage. It's almost embarrassing that it looks like this, but that's what we got. So here we go. And all right. Ricky, look at the camera. Look at the camera. All right, well, the kennel build is coming together pretty good. This is what I got right now. It's gonna be on the side of my garage. I'm gonna put a gate in over here. Here's the pipes, the post digger. So I'm gonna put these, these posts right here, right here, and put the gate in there. And then same thing on the other side, detach the whole kennel so it won't fall any anymore or fall over at all this is actually a standalone kennel it's supposed to be square it's supposed to be square but i took it and made it long ways instead of having it square that way i'd get more square footage for chief i'm gonna put a doggy door right here and leave an option for another one and splitting it in half for when i have two dogs so coming together pretty good a little preview brookie is going to show us how it works we think of the kennel brookie oh Is this gonna be a good little kennel for Chief? Yeah, we gotta dig it. Can you give me a thumbs up? <laughs> All right, so just wanna show you guys this real quick. So I have these things that slip in and out and they came in super useful right here because I just slipped this thing down, pulled it out of the pen, and then I was able to lift the bottom one out. Now I can take this whole kennel right now because I wanna clean it, get some of these turds out of here. These big old nasty, big old nasty turds. Clean those out, <laughs> lay the gravel and the mats in there, and I can just detach this whole thing and move it out of the way and do it. So, pretty nifty to be able to have this kill detached right here. Same thing on the other side. What do you think, Chief? Oh, yeah. Chief decided that he was gonna dig himself a hole. And that's what he lays in all the time. You weirdo. Hey, look up here, buddy. And he gets muddy. You see there's dirt all over his face. All right, let's get at it. All right, fellas. Well, I thought I'd take Chief out, let him have some time in the kennel, give him some breakfast out here, and holy crap. It's freaking snowing. What month is this? It's freaking snowing. What do you think, Chief? Okay, buddy, go ahead. Holy crap. That doesn't make you miss duck season, nothing will. What's going on, folks? All right, here for, I don't even know what day of the kennel build. This thing has been taking forever. So down for the count, obviously from the surgery and all that. So back to it. Um, and yeah, good. back to it. 
So we started way way after, right after duck season, um, and we're still after it now. So I got the next few things we need to get the job done. Um, I got the truck full of gravel right now, and then I got um, the stall mats, the horse stall mats. Um, actually, Zach Swampman tipped me off to this idea that he's done before in the past. So um, yeah, we'll get it all set up. Um, right now, I gotta clean up the area around it, get the boat out of the way, detach the kennel from the wall. That way, I can get the gravel in there and the mats, and we'll have that section done. All we'll have left is the dog wax. So, that's the plan for today get that portion of it done. So, let's get to it. Alrighty, fellas. Well, it is looking pretty good. Here we go. All the gravel down. I gotta push the rocks up against it, but the mats are down. Not perfectly level, but pretty good for what we had going on. All the way to the other end. The old poop bucket. So there it is. Last thing I want to do is I got a shade tarp. It's a special one made for dog kennels like this. I'm gonna see if I can't stretch it over here in the front a little bit to um, give Chief a little spot to get out of the sun if he wants to be inside. And then obviously doggy door and going through here into there and dog box. So looking good. Got the outside kennel completely done exactly how I like it. So definitely pleased, proud of what we got going on. <laughs> 